Well, good afternoon, fellas. Back for a uh, another episode in the journey. Uh, yeah, had a few too many beers last night, so um, not feeling too flash, but the work's got to be done, doesn't it? So we're ready to paint, pretty much. I um, ugh. got all the sandblasted, gave it a quick prime, um, given these arms a bit of a prime, and same with my brakes, they're all gonna be the same color, which I'm real excited about. But this is uh, what we've got to deal with today. I've never done any painting, like proper painting, but, oh Jesus. I went and got this guy, so that's cool. Excited to give that a test run. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and start mixing up. Now, uh, I have been painting my subframe. The subframe is all painted and it's ready to go in. So you think, all right, slide it onto that gray car and whack her in and, and see how we get on. But uh, it's not that simple. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you will have seen that I've already changed my mind once about which chassis I'm um, putting this K-Series into. Um, I originally had a cream car that I was going to use um, because I didn't want to take my grey one off the road or I didn't want to like because it's going to be a track car and I'm not going to get it certified so um, I didn't want to use my grey one but I was like oh fuck man I don't have the coin to fucking build a whole new car from like that and it was like a shit one like I, I don't know anyway I didn't I like yeah it's not going to be a road car but I want it to be tidy you know I want it to be clean and I don't want to have to be doing heaps of rust repairs so I fucked that off and got on with the build with the grey car but um my old man pointed out to me that fuck Laura's are actually still pretty cheap in Japan eh? like you can get stock ones pretty cheap um so we were looking for a few months and um one popped up and um look I don't like white to be honest I don't like white cars but for the price I just couldn't pass it up and um and now that it's here um, I really like it. I like the white, I like the whole fucking car. And we're gonna use it. So, this guy is, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna put the 20E out of that white car in here. Don't know if I'll get it running. Um, but I'll just stow this away, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I don't wanna sell it. Um, so, the K-Series and all that good stuff is going in the white car. So what that means we're doing today and tomorrow and whenever the fuck is all my subframe and stuff is going to go in here. So I've got to pull this subframe out and I'm going to give it a nice little underbody paint and chuck it in here. We'll chuck that subframe and those wheels and everything in here. Um, but yeah, probably should do a little bit of a walk around, eh? I think it's a 91 car. I can't actually remember. Um, but it is genuine facelift. I need a. I've got some letters for this. Um, but I don't really want to run the face flights on the track anyway. But yeah, 88,000 Ks. And I'm not going to say how much, but it was cheap. It was cheap boy cheap. Like landed to my door in New Zealand. Really cheap. Um, and to be honest, it's like in incredible condition. Like, I've given it a polish and stuff, but it's come up beautiful. But it does have a few strange um, 
kind of like rust holes. Not holes, but weird bits on it that I've touched up, so you can't really tell from here. But if you look close, like it's not, it's not immaculate. Um, and there's like a hole in this door here. Super strange spot, don't know, but it is what it is. But um, other than that, yeah, 20E auto, 88,000 Ks, stock is a rock. But like even like, you know, it's still white under the under the guards and stuff. And so I do feel a little rude, but damn. Fantastic interior. This is just part of a bolt-in cage that I'm gonna chuck in it. Um, but yeah, it's really incredible. Perfect base. We're gonna leave all this interior in here. I've got a few tricks up my sleeve for what I'm gonna do about manual surround and all that, but we'll get to that eventually. I've honestly never, oh, my goodies are in there. I forgot about that. So that's all the subframe in that, but um, yeah, the boot's just immaculate. There's not, like, yeah, there's like little bits of surface rust, but there's no like real rust on this car, which is incredible. Sort of what you'd expect going on in here. Nothing much to see. Um. So yeah, I think the plan is basically get the rear end in, paint the underbody, get the front end in, paint the underbody in there. Got a kit on the way. That's probably a few months off. It's coming from the homeland. Um, get that all on, get the cage in. So do everything and then when it's all good to go, chuck the motor in. But we'll see how we go anyway. But yeah, first things first, let's jack this up and pull the rear end out. Just trying to get this done before the rain sets in, but um, yeah, so skipped forward a bit, took my subframe out, took the fuel tank out, pulled those lines down, um, had to cut the exhaust off, which sucks, but those nuts were not coming undone. But yeah, now we've uh, just given it all like a good clean up. Um, so I'm gonna chuck rust converter on a few of the bits that are um, that are actually rusty, but for the most part, it's pretty good under here. And then maybe replenish some of the under seal on bits where my little wire wheel's taking it off. And then we'll give it a good going over with um, with black zinc. So this is what I'm using on the rust, which um, actually like chemically changes it into, I don't know how it works, but stops it from rusting rather than just covering it. Um, then we're gonna go over um, some of the bits that I wanna top up the under seal with that. Cause most of the cars are already under sealed. So just do a bit of that and then top it off with some black zinc. probably see there at the end I sort of didn't film for a bit um yeah just forgot and can't be bothered getting every little bit but I put all the arms in and everything I just painted them black with the same um flake that I put on the subframe um so fast forward a few weeks got all that back in got the front five stud on um it's not finished I just I extended the arms like 25 mil the lower control arms and um just wanted to see where they're at I do have roll center correction kit to go in, um, but I need to extend my tie rods before I do that and also relocate the rack. Compressor rudely interrupted me there. Um, but yeah, so 
little bit to go on the front end, but it's all got the brakes all on. Um, front five stud, obviously. Um, so yeah, like I said, I need to relocate the rack and get extended uh, rack ends, tie rods, whatever you want to call them, and get all that figured out. Um, not exactly sure how the how the lock setup is going to work, but it's just all trial and error. But yeah, the car's looking pretty sweet at the moment. Um, off just to get off the ground. I did try and drive it the other day actually, um, and it is quite low. And I burnt through the paint on both sides. Um, so I'm not even going to be running these wheels, I'm going to be running more of those. So I've got to figure all that out. Um, I did test fit me bolted cage. Fuck which I'm pretty stoked on. Um, I really like the fact that it's like still full interior, you know? Um, so that's pretty cool. But it's going to come out again because it's not it's not painted and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's where the car's at. I guess this video's kind of just been about getting that rear end sorted, but the next step will be painting all underneath the front of the car and stuff but i'm i'm pretty happy with how that's come out but yeah thanks for watching and um see you next time